DALI by OpenAI. It is an AI model capable of taking text description as its input and generating images that depict the text description we have provided. It is a very complex model with 12 billion parameters based on the GPT-3 model. And in short, most of the AI these days is based around the idea of feeding in a lot of sample data and asking the AI to learn something useful from it. So yes, there is a lot of different image generating AI models available these days, but at a glance, DALI differs in two ways from all of these. Firstly, the accuracy at which it is able to understand the context of the images that it is generating, something that we can call context awareness. And secondly, the interdisciplinarity of its image generating capabilities. So keeping that in mind, how about we have a look at a few more mind-blowing examples before digging a little bit deeper into why this particular AI is such an achievement. And um, I'll be going through quite a lot of examples in this video, so if I'm going a little bit too fast, make sure you pause and appreciate what DALI is capable of. In the top left-hand corner, you can find the text prompt that DALI used as an input, and below a display of automatically selected 16 best images. I would like to encourage you to ask yourself the following question when watching these and other examples in this video. What knowledge would a human need to possess to paint these images? Remember that this is one single model that is capable of producing all these diverse images. So try to think about it as if it was one single human that had to paint all of them. This is one of the facts that the scientists at OpenAI highlight in their publication. They challenged DALI to deal with image generation in difficult and unrelated categories which gives us a slightly better understanding of the interdisciplinarity I mentioned earlier. And through these examples, we can also observe DALI's incredible comprehension capabilities. For example, I really love the illustrations made by DALI, especially this one. Its text prompt reads, an illustration of a baby panda in a beanie, staring at its reflection in a mirror. Just think about it for a second, how many abstract concepts one needs to know about to interpret this sentence and create a range of probable, somewhat accurate illustrations. We have the panda bear, who needs to be depicted with childlike attributes, given it's only a baby, wearing a small woolen hat. Now, try to explain to someone who never saw pandas how to draw a baby one with a hat. And think for a second what the result of such collaboration may be. But what's more, this hipster baby panda is looking at its reflection in a mirror. After a certain age, we humans take mirrors as natural objects in our environment, but yet again, imagine what it takes to grasp the concept of one's image being reflected and mirrored, potentially even distorted. It's not easy. Bear in mind that while this AI model was probably given training data consisting of illustrations of pandas, of children, hats and mirrors, it most likely never seen one consisting of this particular combination, or majority of the other combinations we've seen in this video. This may already give you an idea of what it takes to comprehend the context of objects, rather than their literal description. So, more precisely now, Look at the examples shown in this video and ask yourself how broad interdisciplinary knowledge and context comprehension skills a person would require to paint these images. I think it's fair to say that not only there is no other AI model capable of such a feat, but that there is little to no humans that would be able to do so either. So to understand why this is groundbreaking, let's maybe first understand how other generative AI models work. Simplifying. 
Imagine giving your seven-year-old nephew a bunch of crayons and an IKEA catalog filled with pasta images, and then asking your nephew to do nothing but eat pasta and draw pasta for a month. You then come back and ask your nephew to draw you a new image of pasta, and provided that you set your training environment correctly, you are likely gonna get a new original drawing of pasta. But ask your nephew to draw you a picture of a squirrel made out of pasta, and your nephew is going to do mediocre at best, as simply they haven't seen enough squirrels in their life to be able to accurately predict what a pasta-made squirrel may look like. And now if you try to ask your nephew to draw you a picture of an oak tree, or a Thai green curry, or a kangaroo, or a cross-section of a heart, your nephew will simply fail. And once again, simplifying, but this is exactly how a lot of state-of-the-art AI works these days. It gets really, really good at one thing, but one thing only. And even the domain that it mastered has very strict boundaries, and it's not easily translatable to other domains, just like our pasta master nephew was not really good at drawing pasta-made animals. And see, this is exactly what the context awareness and interdisciplinarity I mentioned earlier mean. To be able to generate images in a way that DALI does, one does not need to understand and reproduce the specific categories of objects, but the features, such as the color, the shape, the texture, and even like the physically accurate properties that the objects are made of. Because then we can simply mix and blend and blur these different properties and features and indeed be able to ask for a pasta-made squirrel or a squirrel-made pasta, despite not having trained the AI on these specific combinations. Knowing that, have a look at the following images and observe how DALI indeed mixes various properties of the objects in question. This is what made my jaw drop to the floor when I saw it for the first time. Lacking a more precise explanation of DALI's inner workings at the moment, my intuitive understanding leans towards thinking that this model contains an impressive level of comprehension of how humans interpret the world, almost as if it averaged the combined human knowledge regarding how the world we live in looks like. See, while there are other independent AI models, some of which show similar levels of context awareness, DALI's interdisciplinarity and flexibility takes this game to a whole other level. Majority of other existing techniques are like pasta masters. Even though impressive and of high quality, they're highly specialized and require partial or complete retraining to be applicable in various domains. To be as general as DALI, would mean that the model would need to store and comprehend some amount of knowledge made of general truths, laws and observations about our world. And these image results we're looking at give us a glimpse at what that knowledge may indeed look like, which upon reflection I, I find absolutely remarkable. So why is DALI so much better than all the other models? To answer that, we have to have a look at GPT-3 that DALI is a version of. Since GPT-3 is a very, very complex model, we're going to have to oversimplify things a little bit for the purpose of this video once again. So GPT-3 is a simple AI model built by the same company as DALI with a simple task. Given the following sentence, predict the next word. And then they dumped 500 billion words on it and spent approximately four to five million dollars on electricity and hardware to train it. But what emerged is probably the closest we have gotten to a human brain by May 2020. Most interestingly for us though, this new model was really, really good at interdisciplinarity and context awareness. Like, without any further adjustments, it was capable of writing poetry, fiction, news articles, 
computer code, be able to search through data, solve puzzles, compose guitar tabs, answer, answer medical queries, and so many, many more things. Like, seriously, you're due for a massive, mind-blowing catch-up if you haven't checked uh, GPT-3 out yet. Now, DALI is a version of that model retrained for image generation instead of text generation. So instead of asking, given the following sentence, predict the next word, DALI asks, given the following sentence, predict an image depicting it. We don't know yet what the exact architecture of DALI is, or how many hours they spent on training it, how much did it cost, how many images they used for training, but what we do know is that DALI is the most advanced seven-year-old nephew with cryons that this planet has seen to date.